Don't try to be popular with people and have the power of God on your life. You may be saved, but you'll certainly lose your reward. Now, many will say, Lord, we prophesy, preachers, teachers, evangelists, oh yes, missionaries, yes, Sunday school teachers, yes, prophesied. Then next they said, in thy name we've cast out devils. This is not heresy. I didn't write this. I'm just reading it. It's possible for a man to cast out devils and go to hell himself. What do you mean, preacher? Here's what I mean. Here's what I mean. Any man that has had a reasonable education. Now, I, I say this not uh, to disrespect lawyers, but any man that's had a law course and has a law degree, any man that has a degree in science or philosophy, or as far as that's concerned, history and math mathematics, any man that's been to college or the university can stand before the men's Bible class and teach a good Sunday school lesson. Yeah, the amens have died out now. And the time has come today when the average church doesn't call a pastor because he's full of the Holy Ghost, but they call him on the merit of which university he went to and where did he get his doctor's degree. Yeah. Well, you say, preacher, aren't you a doctor? No, I'm not doctor enough to hurt. All my honorary, B.A., born again, D.D., Devil disturber, not dry and dusty doodle digger. Amen. Thank you. Amen. There's nothing wrong with an education if you get it honest and stay with the Word of God. But I'd rather hear an ignoramus preach the blood than to hear a man with a Ph.D. deny the Son of God. Hadn't you say? Amen. Any man that has a reasonable education can teach a good Sunday school lesson. And even if a sinner stands up before a crowd of men and reads the Word of God, even though the man reading may be a sinner, the Word of God may prick his heart, break his heart, convict him of sin, and bring him to Jesus. It's possible to have folks saved in a church where a liberal is the pastor. They're not saved in great numbers, and they're not saved as a rule, but God can overrule the man in the pulpit and bless God's word that will not return void. Amen. But what do we say today? We rear back and say, well, God must be with him. Look what he's doing. You might take a peep at what the devil's doing. If you're going to compare men in the pulpit and men in religion, if you're going to say they're God's man because of the gigantic job they're doing, take a look at the devil's job, huh? Answer me, say. Now you hear me. I thank God for big churches, and I thank God for big preachers, and I thank God for men who are internationally known, but you can be internationally known and pastor a big church and go to hell. Amen. Just because you have a crowd don't mean you're saved. And just because conversions are reported at convention, that doesn't mean the man's saved. Now you argue with God Almighty. Don't argue with me. I didn't write this. I'm reading it. They said we cast out devils and he didn't say you didn't. He didn't deny it. I believe there are people saved in Sunday school classes where the teacher's a sinner. It's not the teacher that saves them, it's what the Word of God says. We're saved by grace through faith. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the Word, right? Amen? Amen. Now that's not all. They said we've done many wonderful works. Lord, you must have me down wrong. You know, I tell you, I was one of the workingest fellows you've ever seen. I helped them clean off the graveyard and helped paint the church. And Lord, you, you must have the wrong fellow. No, the Lord doesn't have the wrong feller. He said you didn't do the will of God. You prophesied, you preached, you taught, and you uh, cast out demons and had folks converted, and you were certainly a wonderful worker, but I never knew you. You say, preacher, you try to make me doubt my salvation. If I can make you doubt your salvation, you don't have any salvation. 
born again child of God doesn't shudder when a man preaches like I'm preaching now. If you're saved, you know it just as good as you know you're breathing. If you don't know you're saved as truly and as positively as you know you're breathing, you'd better get somewhere, get on your knees and give your heart to God.